Welcome back, everyone, for the next part of Library of Verona. In the last part, we defeated Laetitia and, of course, our cute little puppy. And while doing so, I was able to gain two more employees around here. First and foremost, Hex, who's actually been waiting for that for a very, very long time. And he even comes with background story. And the second, Hex, a former grade 5 fixer that's really into the art of combat. Notable for his calm and cooperative attitude when interacting with other subjects. And how he turns into an unhinged, merciless battle human when in combat. He quit his fixer job when he got a job opportunity in the Lobotomy Corp, becoming a captain of the training team in another branch was later transferred to HQ as an intern agent. He never made the jump to an actual agent though, but if his superiors allowed it, he would have loved to join in the ordeals or the abnormality suppression. He is honored to be an assistant librarian and holds his Patreon librarian in high regards. So Hex, well, <laughs> I can already say, today is your first official day. And you're heading straight into a final episode. Are you ready for that? Are you actually ready for that? Because that's actually going to be a bit tricky. <laughs> the other one uh, already took like over an hour. So uh, it's probably going to be another one of those very, very long battles. But we'll see, right? We'll see. And as I already said, Maxwell is back. Deborah has Maxwell now. Maxime. Maxwell and Bree. She doesn't need anyone else, actually. <laughs> she already has the dream team. But it's going to get even better when she has the fifth slot. Oh, this is going to be so precious. This team is going to be so great. <laughs> and she has read the puppy. What else would she need? That's all that she needs, right? That's all that she needs. But yeah, I, I shouldn't get distracted, right? Hot, hot is waiting for us. Angela and Hot are waiting for us. Let us go. The floor of literature. Okay. <clears throat> you appear to have collected quite a few books by now. How's the progress? The stories of the people living in the city are sensational, yet bitter in a way. They are bound to be. Everyone is looking for a place to belong to. For ordinary citizens, it seems getting a job at one of the wings, the largest conglomeration in the city, is considered the greatest happiness that they can achieve. Ah, so they can belong to a nest managed by the uh, yeah, they can belong to the nest managed by the wing that way. I heard that there is a difference in the quality of life between the nest and the back street is quite significant. No. Hmm. Quite significant. It's an understatement. They're practically two different worlds stitched together. It looks like the residents of the nest don't have to worry about the external threats as long as it is under the wing's management. They won't have to look out for murderers in the streets or cannibals. They get more than enough financial support to sustain their lives and are free from the, the stigma of being an outcast. They get to enjoy the most benefits as human beings and, in return, do whatever their wings tell them to do. But that's about all that they have. The people in the back streets try to join the wings for a better and happier life, but when I look at the books of the people from the nest, the strokes of their hearts are ultimately the same as those from the back streets. They live in constant fear that they might fail to produce enough results and get kicked out of the nest. It's the same kind of insecurity that comes from not belonging to the wing in the first place. Oh, the fixers and syndicates. I've seen, uh, rare, yeah, the fixers and syndicates that I've seen don't seem to care much about joining the wings though. Quite a few of them are sponsored by the wings actually. It's something to aim for. Although they still have to do whatever the wings orders them to do. And it doesn't always have to be a wing. Be it an office, an association, or an infamous syndical, people will seek all kinds of renowned group to belong to. They can stand on their own without belonging to a group of any kind. 
because it's unnerving. Powerless people in the back streets are nothing more than pebbles for the strong to kick around, just as Gabora mentioned during her story. The stronger only lash out for the weak. It would be too troublesome to try to strike back for, to the top, right? So they are always stronger than them. It is such a dangerous world. They choose to rely on big roots, uh, yeah, roosts like the wings. They would rather be cocks in the wings machine than try to stand all by themselves. It's but a meaningless repetition. They will never reach what they want. A constant cycle. Well, aren't you looking for a place to call home as well, Angela? Oh, don't act like you know me. Angela, I know you can do anything about us. You are the loneliest of us all. Are you claiming that I'm doing all of this because I'm lonely and need a home? Maybe. You haven't had a lot of people to have a, an honest conversation with. Only recently did you get to meet Roland. And he's a friend, right? He's a friend! Servant! Lapdog! <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Everyone wants to indulge in sweet stories, seeing as reality is bitter and painful. Maybe that is why tragedies are so unpopular. Because everyone is living or everyone's lives are always accompanied by them. It's not like people don't want to hold any expectations. They simply don't have any willpowers left to harbor any hope deep within their hearts. It's just too obvious how they will fulfill their lives in the city. How about you, Angela? What expectations do you have moving forward? What's your point? That I'm in a meaningless cycle just like the people of the city? You're desperate to find a place for your mind to rest. Maybe you're still repeating this because of that. But you won't find that place you're looking for by just killing people and expanding the library with towers of books. Books can't give you a home, Angela. It's just a book. You could build a book or a house out of books if you really want to, if you have enough of them. But that's not going to replace the people. This is clearly different from the past. Oh, already back. Each, Each time, time the stage plays resets and, and repeats, dead employees once again awaken. And my work restarts from the beginning, as if nothing has happened. happened. We are back to loop zero. When she still had empathy, right? She still had empathy. <laughs> Greetings, I am Angela. The AI task of the general, the general management of this facility. You must you be must the sufferer who will be helping me out with work. work. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Lady Angela. Angela. You can you just can call, call me Angela. Angela. We're in the in same, same boat, boat, so let's so be more comfortable, comfortable with each other. Um, well then, Angela. Is there anything we can do? Hmm. We have numbers of things to take care of before the manager arrives someday. Someday? Am I not around yet? You can, can do it, Marco. There's no need to rush. Thanks, Angela. I will do my best. best. Yeah, yeah, I'm sharing for you. And, and that's, that's it. it. Don't, Don't be such a slacker now. now. <laughs> we have, we have plenty, plenty of things to prepare, to prepare until the manager arrives and the work begins. begins. Yes, yes ma'am. I will try. try. He's trying? He's still motivated? <laughs> um, what's, what's up, Pot? Um, you know, I... I want to start a counseling program for the employees. You know, working in this place can be a bit too rough for most people. Oh, that's a good idea. Employees will be able to share up with you. She supported that idea? Angela, can you have a look at this? I tried designing some efficient method to improve the welfare of our employees. Yes, that's good, that's good. Better our employees, the better the results. The things for Thanks. I will consider your suggestions. I've been thinking if there's any way to reduce the casualty rates too. Oh, seed of light scenario error. What? Did I do something wrong? Seed of light scenario reactivated. Huh? Oh. The first loop. Oh, you're all, you're back. all back! The 
facility was shaking so hard, I was, I was worried something might have happened to you. Um, nice to meet you, ma'am. Um, who are you? Oh, I see. Only I remember all of this. And you guys have to start over from the beginning. Um, once again, nice to meet you. I'm simply Angela. She already had to do that 37 times. Oh god! <laughs> Careful, Lord. I'm okay with you setting up a counseling, but I don't want you to get hurt doing it. Oh, okay. Thanks for your concern, Angela. Hmm? She says, I'm sorry, but I don't think we can implement the method you suggested. If we did, we would have to start over. What? What do you mean, start over? I'm sorry. I, I don't want to treat employees like expendables either, but... You have to, right? You already had to do that for 582 times? No, yeah, it's, it's about the cost safety program, program, right? right? Here's, Here's my proposal for an efficient way to run your program. program. What do you what think? think? She helped her! You're awesome, Angela! You're the only, You're the only one who really gets me! This is the most I can do without deviating from the script. Huh? Script? Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's nothing for you to worry about. about. How does this look, Angela? Think it could work? I'm afraid we can employ your method to improve employees' welfare, but... Um, how about this? I tried coming up with a method of my own. Angela, thank you! It's all thanks to you! I could save Tiffany with the counseling practice you suggested! That's great! I hope, uh, everything else goes well, too. You're great, Angela! With this method, our employees will no longer, no longer have to suffer meaningless deaths! So she did try to save them. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh my god! Another arrow? See the flights? Oh, I, knew I knew it. it. Yet again. I suppose it was perceptuous of me to cross the line again. See the flight scenario reactivated. I'm obligated to provoke the Sephiroth. I'm obligated to intensify and accelerate the suffering in this town, according to the script. I'm obligated to set the stage before the managers enters. I was not allowed to hold any expectations for relationships. All I must do is follow the script and accelerate the process, so that they suffer their due repentance. Loop 1295. Oh. No. Um, here to, here ask to ask for your counseling program, program, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I want to help out the employees. Let me Let tell, me you, tell one you one thing, thing. then. The, the results, results will be the same, same anyways. anyways. It's not gonna work. They're gonna complain, and you're gonna get uncertain about it. And at long, long last, last, I could barely I reach this act of the play. Alright, everyone? Right, everyone? Please, Please pay attention. Pay attention. The manager will be here as of today. This means that Pierre and the person will be in charge of managing everything about this facility. Whoever it is, everyone will die in this. I know that they aren't particularly fond of me, but I'm certain our new manager will be able to bring change to this place. This meltdown. What? What is wrong? Manager, something isn't right with Hot. Or is it us? And we're not able to talk. What does? See, this is what the script means. She's in so much pain, but do anything to help her. It's all up to the manager. The memories and resentment of the past that the Sephiroth hold. Once they are relieved of the agony and my creator's atonement is made, I can finally reach enlightenment. 
If that process fails, the play goes back to the beginning. Look 28,239. I am Angela, and all of you have to do is follow my orders. I'm in control here. Yes, Lady Angela. If you ever want to run a counseling program or anything, feel free. There's no need to ask me for every little thing. The only thing Starting to act like a child, not Tifferit. Tifferit is horrible. It's just. How could you be so cruel? So, did you enjoy your little detective game? Benjamin! <laughs> oh, the final truth is. I'm, I'm sorry that we had to meet again like this. After 28,000 loops. Her empathy is gone. <laughs> oh god. Angela. Loop 52,000. Oh, it's getting worse, but second. Please, Please watch, watch me, me manager. manager. I can take care of the situation. No problem. Please watch me, manager. I can take care of the situation. No problem. I didn't want to open my eyes again. I just yearn to fall into the infinite pits of hell. Bearing my sin on my back. I'm the only one who cares about it. Why would they hate me? The only one who cares about it. Would they hate me? It's always the exact same line, delivered at the exact same moment. I wanted to maintain relationship. It was a futile dream to have the ever repeating cycle the I could remember. Why did I foolishly cling to such a transient wish, knowing that everything was the set anyways? At least they cared to look at me. Whether well, the stage they failed to reach its end, and even if it did, all would disappear. Such was the script. Why did I bring them back now? I would have thought they were not unnecessary. I would have loved to just let everyone be slowly be forgotten. Knowing exactly when and how they would fall into despair, I soon despaired as well. Broke down as there was nothing I could change. I could not, uh, not change them beyond the script dictates. I spent every day without any hope or expectations. My time finally come when the curtain falls on this everlasting play. I just close my eyes. I can close my eyes and turn away from things that I don't want to see. I can close my eyes and let the things I can change stay that way. I can close my eyes, but the future will be the same as ever. Ever repeating. From the very beginning. From the very first moment they meet. I don't think she had the checkpoints like us. We had a checkpoint every five days that we really have to return, right? But she had to start all over again. When before we even arrived, I, I didn't even thought about it, that that there was a, a time frame for them to get very, very depressive about themselves before we arrived so to, to save this, the play in her eyes. So she isn't allowed to help them at all. It's all about us. A and X have to fix the problems. Otherwise, everything is going to be resetted again. This is this is very cruel. She, not only did she lose her empathy, she was forced to lose any sentiments of relationship as well. Since no matter what she does, everyone around her literally become into dolls. I can see why she's angry at us. I can totally see why she's so angry at us. Um, Angela, how long have you endured this solitude? Oh, this is horrible. Ironic. I have simply too much expectations for the one book. That if I get my hands on it, it will mend all of my shortcomings for me. Because I just don't know how to become a better my uh, how to become better myself. 
I'm not afraid of the uncertainty the future holds. I'm afraid because I can't predict my future. No matter what I do, I will never get to reach what I want. Angela? What? Why do you have that suit? I thought you would have become shy. Why? What? what? Is that the last one? Are you actually in the disguise of the last of the melody? It's gonna be Black Swan. That's that's clearly Black Swan. I can see the umbrella. Oh God! It's one of Angela's possibility, manifested by the library. I know. I've seen it a couple of times before. The sight of Angela must be the one that gave up all expectations for the future and its possibilities. The sight of Angela that he gave up all hope. Huh? And we have to fight against that! Oh great! Oh great! And she has a lot of people around here. That's not good. And you're saying that is what Angela turned into? Yeah? And on your very first day! Welcome aboard to this new library, X! I hope you enjoy your stay, I can already say! <laughs> oh god, this can't be real. What are we supposed to do? This is the kind of stuff I've seen in a containment unit. No need to worry, guys. You just need to trust Hot and follow her. Let's get ready. Don't bear yourself out, okay? Right, so first and foremost. What's happened? Uh, what happens when a dreaming being is faced with reality? Once I tried to dream a happy dream with everyone. The very beginning before the loop starts, so huh? I see you all from the distance. The beings I couldn't help but laugh. Yeah? I don't want to wake up. I'm afraid of facing that reality. She's all alone again. Huh? If I could see the future I dreamed of for just a moment, I could literally shatter your hearts since it's gonna return to normal, right? But it's just a Sunday. You only bring meaningless, uneasiness, and nothing else. I thought things would work themselves out if I worked harder. But did it? A clothing made of nestles that still isn't complete. Sucks. A bit more. Just a little bit more. I'm almost there. Try just a little harder. And there's just a little more. Oh, that's already a, a little detail from the, the story, right? I opened my mouth. This, this, this disgusting filth swelled up inside of me and spilled right out. Yeah, that is from, uh, from the Black Swan. The Black Swan tried her best in order to reach her family. She tried her best to protect her family. But no matter what she tried, she wasn't able to reach them in time. Everyone was infected by some kind of, kind of plague. And they all died relatively tragic, as you can see. <laughs> On the brothers, the creepy brothers. He lost his ear. Oh god, the mouth. This one was even creepier than all of them. And that guy lost his ear. His eyes. What about the other two? Why are they fine? Actually, why aren't all of them fine? Huh. Anyways, uh, first and foremost. The Black Swan, Angela. Right. Wait. Need to activate. I didn't know that spider is not activated. For a second, I thought I deactivated those lights. But I guess I didn't. Okay, corrosion. Move to the next scene as expected. Loading of Nestle. Starting with the scene 2, we summon a brother at the start of each scene. Does it activate if there are already 5 allies alive? Family to protect. If 4 brothers are alive at the start of the scene, use a mass attack pitch. Okay, I need to get rid of the brothers, <laughs> otherwise it's gonna hit me with a mass attack and I don't want that. The broken dream. The four brothers have died at the start of the scene. Use a mass attack. And I can't kill the brothers either. Otherwise, I'm just gonna use a mass attack. Oh, great! So I have to kill three of them, right? I have to kill three of them. And then the brothers himself. The second brother. 
the speed guy, second brother. With this character's alive, Angela's speed value increases by three. So she's gonna be fast. Okay. And the first brother. With this character's alive, Angela gains speed. Now that's not good. Right, uh, not speed, it's speed die. That's even worse. That's even worse. I don't really care about the extra speed, but I can't allow her to have an extra dice. And she has no- Oh no! I can stagger her? And dash attacks are useless. And even if I hit her with a uh, slash or pierce attack, it's not gonna make a difference either. Isn't that great? Isn't that just great? Oh my god, she's fast. 8775. Yeah, I can't redirect any of that. Okay, who are you hitting? Lapos? Great. <laughs> Ritter, 4-7. Four, 4-7, seven. Four, seven. Vomit. Feeble. I think Feeble next scene. 3-7. And more of that. Then those guys. Green Waste. Another Feeble. One hit Angela gets one strength next scene. Oh, that's not good. But it seems like they are all about using feeble attacks against us. Yeah, pretty much. Feeble, feeble. Huh. Okay. I mean, it could certainly be worse. Feeble was, uh, was the one for the protective dice, right? Or was it offensive? No, I think... Uh, I think this arm was uh, for, for the offensive dice, right? I think. Did I give anyone a card of that ability? I think I did, right? Oh, by the way, I gave uh, our Hex a little bit of a smoke stick in order to make use of loss of sense, since uh, this is very. This is going to be a very long fight. I want everyone to have more drawing pages. And loss of sense comes with a second ability that also inflicts paralysis as long as the target has around seven or more stacks of smoke. Right? It's great. It's really great. It's going to be very helpful, right? It's going to be very helpful. Not as strong as Will of the Prescript, which gives us three cards to draw, but still, two draw is still great. Especially since uh, the smoke thingy is able to give us a plus, four, uh, plus one in power, right? Or rather, it gives her a minus one power? Still a bit difficult to serve up. I still have a bit of difficulty understanding the smoke effect, but we're getting there, right? We're getting there. Nevertheless, let's see. Need to block all of the dices. Yeah, that should be able to dish out enough damage for that. Just need to make sure that the hit goes in the right directions. better for him. After all, Cinnamon does have the power of Oscar. Maybe not Oscar, but he has the power of Oscar's office. Which key match did you have again? Yeah, that's not the power of Oscar, but it is the power of Pamela or Pamely. She, he should be able to survive it. He should totally be able to survive it. Okay, guys. Good luck. Oh, that's a range attack. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's perfect. That's perfect. Come on. We need to avoid any unnecessary damage, if possible. And preferably apply as many status ailments as we can, since normal damage is not an option around here. Just literally blocking any type of damage. Oh, see, those brothers are so creepy, though. <laughs> those brothers are so creepy. Okay, are we able to finish him off? Yes, that's good. That's good. She's gonna lose one of her speed dice now. And... Got another... Wait, did he lose his legs? He lost his legs! And he recovered! Ah! So you revived them by healing their wounds? But they're still going to die. And you got a creepy head. The speed family. Great. If the amount of this status is four higher at the start of the scene, use a special combat. Oh, no. <laughs> really need to be careful which brother to kill then, huh? So it seems like she has access to six of them. 
which means I have to at least let three of them survive. At the very least, I have to let three of them survive. Okay. The third product. With this character is alive, Angela uses combat page that reflects damage. Oh. What are we talking about? Oh, a tendril! Of course! Of course! They're already so fast, of course they have to roll a 10 as well! Okay, I think that's not going to be enough to kill the, the third brother. But I should be able to get rid of the second one. Okay, let's do it like this. I can ignore the third dice on Angela. Doesn't really seem like I was able to break through it. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> I think... Did, did she get staggered? Did she get staggered from that? Yeah, I have a slight feeling that she got staggered by that. At the very least, I got the other brother. That's good. And we got rid of him. Even better. Even better. Okay, let's uh, let's think about this. I think it would be better for me to get a cocoon. And preferably on Lapis. There we go. Now we have yet another brother. Oh, she's still so fast. Are you kidding me? I thought it would get better. <laughs> well, this character is alive. Angela attacks the fatal damage regardless of the score. But at the very least, uh, thanks to the defensive die, she only is able to use one of her attacks. She's still doing fatal damage though. And she's already on counter too. I need to get rid of that guy. I have to get rid of this guy. Yeah, I should, I should probably get rid of it. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that, uh, that, that this child dies. Let's deactivate the passive, because we already know what the fourth child is doing. Heart is going to get staggered, but it's fine. Let's get it. There we go. Good job on Butter's end. It's not enough to get the stagger. Was able to break through Lapa's defense dice, but that's okay. As long as Angela is not getting the free hits, I think only Angela is doing stagger damage, right? Or right, uh, fatal damage. What am I saying? Not stagger damage. Okay, that that child is gone. That's good. I need to look of the day, and preferably on hot, because staring decision really needs that buff. Okay, what do you do? Fifth child. When this character is alive, Angela uses combat pages that inflict five bleed and fragile. Ah, I see. <laughs> is that a strong combat page? Five to twelve. Yes, it is a strong combat page. I can't kill the child. I cannot kill the child. Quite troublesome. Quite troublesome. Okay, I need to get the angry face. What? Come on. There we go. The power of angry faces. Oh, shoot. Wait. Wait. Calm down. Calm down. Don't do, don't do anything reckless. Oh, no. <laughs> what did you do, Hex? She's gonna go for it now. She's absolutely gonna go for it now! Ah, great! <laughs> great! What are you? <laughs> Six brother. Six brother. If this character dies, Angela becomes staggered. Why didn't you show up sooner? <laughs> Not gonna care a bit about the second hit. I should be able to completely block the mass attack. Clash against all of the brothers. We're going to kill all of the brothers. And once we get staggered, everyone is just going to focus her down. Okay, that broke through. I failed both hits on Hex. That's not good. Free hit on, in, uh, on my Cinnamon, but it's fine. Got the stagger. Come on, get the. No, my Hex! No, Hex! This was your first battle! <laughs> You're already 
I forgot to check your for hot smile. Right at her angry face. Ah, shoot. It's fine. It's fine, we can still prevail. We can still prevail. It's fine. Another brother recovered. Great. At least Angela is staggered now. That's gonna hurt a bit. It's gonna hurt a lot, actually. I didn't even see that it, it hits my heart. Oh, this fight's a mess. This fight's an actual mess. <laughs> this freaking fight. At the very least, yeah, we're going to get, we are totally going to get Angela. Lapis got staggered. But at the very least, uh, oh no, two of my guys are staggered and we're going to, oh no, Leticia. Leticia, why did I make that disappear? Am I stupid? <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, gonna edit that in, I guess, or something. <laughs> well, pretty much. The good fr friends don't really do anything. And the spiders are still the same. Interesting. But now. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a huge gift. <laughs> that's the huge gift. I could have checked the huge gift. I think that was a 13 roll, right? I think that was a 13 roll. Nevertheless, uh, let me just uh, quickly redo the first part of the fight again. And I'm probably going to swap out. Yeah, I'm probably going to get rid of his PS weakness. <sighs> I kind of wanted to avoid this, Lapus. I really kind of wanted to avoid this. But it seems like you have to become Miho. <laughs> like everyone else. Every range attacker around here becomes Miho during the final... <laughs> during the final episode. It's just how it is, right? It's just how it is. Let the guidance of the Index compel you into greatness. So, okay, back here, much, much better. Just get rid of all the brothers. Don't care about the brothers. Don't care about the Aztecs. Just get all the brothers. <laughs> ah, it's much better that way, right? It is much, much better that way. Okay, such a cruel role she had to fill. I gotta wonder how lonely it must felt to be unable to build relationships, no matter what you do. When you tell me, I'm not one to talk about what I never experienced. That is why we can't be too hasty to sympathize with her. I guess we can fully understand each other's story. Right. You shouldn't judge her that quickly, though. Just because she seemed harsh at the beginning, it doesn't really mean she she was meant to be that way, right? Okay. Now, our favorite part, right? <laughs> Back to Leticia. <laughs> I guess I wasn't fast enough after all. Counter. Productive. Oh, well, at the very least, uh, all of her friends are gone now. What did just happen? How did Hex die? Did he get too many? Uh, but, but it can be. I got rid of the pitta powder. I got rid of the heart. I got rid of the heart. I'm pretty sure I got rid of the heart. Stupid hearts. <laughs> and I thought that I would finally get the hang around gifts. But no. <laughs> no. She's overwhelming me with gifts. Because of her endless supplies of gifts. What? What are you doing? You actually put more gifts into my hand after every two scenes. But it doesn't feel like every two scenes. It's like you, you give me a bunch of them. <laughs> you give me three copies. That's, that's not... You're supposed to give me one, right? Uh, I see... So, uh, I shouldn't try to go for, for friends. 
I should probably prioritize defeating Angela instead of her friends, not like Leticia. She doesn't like that. Oh god. <laughs> this, uh, this episode, this final episode, is a bit more tougher than uh, the other one. Okay, okay, that's good. That's very good. There we go! Okay! Screw the gifts! Screw the spider! Oh shoot, there's another spider. Screw the spiders! Ignore the gifts! Just focus down on Angela. My god! <laughs> Okay! This Angela is becoming even creepier, huh? Yeah, yeah, she's becoming more of a spider! True. It's freaky for sure, and I still don't get what's going on. Hot, please don't get too concerned over this. That's right. There wasn't a lot you could do about the situation. Okay, we've got to do what we must do right now. Right. Hopefully this time around, this face is a bit uh, more manageable than Leticia. To flatten up a still incomplete being, much as needed. Okay, it can be helped. The one book that will set me free is my everything. Having to witness them all despair, from beginning to end, I collapsed at the last. Understandable if you are surrounded by despair and all. I just wish to close my eyes. 
Why did I bother entertaining the empty hope that I will reach you one day? What good did I see in you? Well, you don't want to be alone, right? It's to protect the place where I belong. Yes. Maybe I don't have to I have the heart to be rid of you all, right after all. To ensure that nothing escapes my notice. My eyes move busily. You lot will slowly lose hope. Just as see it. Letting out faint breaths. Waiting for for next time that may never come. Ah. Fatten up the still incomplete being much as needed. Okay, I did read that right. <clears throat> For a second I thought I did that I read that wrong, but no. No. She she took care of all of them, but they were still uh, in a freshly waking state. Over and over again in order to make sure that they fell into despair. Even though she tried to help. Oh my poor Angela. And now you became the red eye. The one being that is unable to close her eyes. After all, she has to watch over the kids. What are you gonna do now, though? Crouch. Move to the next phase. The hunt begins. Move active and target falls. Uh, becomes active and targets falls with two scenes after an ally dies. Targeted fall that has killed an ally. Alertness. Every two scenes give full protection to other allies. Ah, uh, so you protect them. Targets fall with cocoon status. So this is pretty much like the usual spider fight. Which means, this is easy. That should be easy. This is not Leticia. This is not Leticia. <laughs> oh god, 4-8. Four 4-8. Eights. Four eights. Yeah, I should kill them as quickly as possible to get her down. Before she starts spamming protection. I need to get her down in order to actually inflict uh, damage on her. Come on. Angry face. Okay, you got the first hit. You got the second hit as well. They are able to hold uh, to roll relatively high, so I have to keep that in mind. Oh god, butter. It's fine. It's fine. What is around? What is there to take care of you? <laughs> Hot but daring decision is always here. And I think I'm going to get a stagger soon, right? But did I get a stagger? Well, maybe not. Maybe I spread the damage too much. But at the same time, I need to be careful. Uh, for protection. For protection for everyone. Every to scene, was it? Every to scene. Come on. Come angry. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, the for protection is strong, though. I. Barely do any damage, but that's fine. Currently, I'm just trying to get the stagger going. If I can get the stagger going. There we go. Yes. Perfect. Another stagger. Did I get four staggers? I think I only got three. But that's good enough. I take that. I take that. I should be able to finish them all off in this turn. So we're just going to draw even more pages. Yeah, we're just going to draw even more pages. Hit him with butter. And see if it works. Okay, need another one of my angry faces, please. Very important business here. I need to, I need to take boost. Which works wonders with um, staying calm. There we go. It's not quite enough to kill it. But it's fine, we can still finish it off in the next round, since it is going to be staggered for the next round. But most importantly, Angela's coming down. There she is. Cry out. Stagger targets. Inflict cocoon status. 12-12. Gleaming eye. The clash win. Inflict feeble. It's all about counter dices. Ah! Great! And who are you targeting? Of 
course. Of course. So I need to be careful about that. Okay, double daring decision. Double daring decision should be able to break through it somehow. In combination of light recovery. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was angry just there. It was angry for a second. For a split second, it was angry. Ah, God, all of them are gonna fail. Just gonna get staggered because I've messed it up. All of them are gonna get staggered from this, sir. That's not good. That's. It's not good. She's gonna kill him. She's literally about to kill him. What does people do again? People is gonna lower the, the buff, right? The tech buff. But even so, even if they reduce power, why are you suddenly targeting my hot? Did he change targets? Interesting. So she's able to change targets. I didn't know that. I thought you would uh, focus down Hex until he dies. But I guess not. So, okay. Now we aren't really able to break through it. But it should still be enough to finish it off. There we go. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I think I was able to give everyone the protection. There are no more spiderings around, so that she so she's totally going to be aggressive for the end of this fight. Is anyone able to break through that hit? Anyone? Doesn't really seem like it. And I need to wait for, for the smoke. I can't tell if we're going to get the smoke or not, but I have to wait for the smoke. And there's no guarantee that Lapos is able to survive for that, so rather if he's able to get not staggered. So, uh, yeah, there was a way. And he got a cocoon. Well, at the very least, we got the smokes. At the very least, we got the smokes. She's dealing quite a lot of damage. But as long as you target her clashes, or rather her counter dices with the... Oh god, she's already dead. But as long as you clash against her counter dices with the, with the actual clash, they literally do nothing. That's good to know. That's very good to know. Not that it matter anymore, since <laughs> now we have uh, Sanctuary and Deva Desires. She's literally wearing the red shoes. Desire and obsession soaked in blood. Not sure what she's desiring though. Maybe it's her own happiness. Could be about that perfect book she was looking for. True. She thinks she has nothing for herself. I'm sure of it. Yeah, she has nothing for herself except of that book. That she doesn't even have currently. It's mine. This means everything to me. So don't take it away, probably? The more blood painted over, the shoes and I are tingling with beauty. Uh, really? I need this. I don't know how it becomes uh, how to become better myself. Only these shoes can make me dance. They make me move. That's a good you need to move or right? you need to find a desire for yourself. If you want to stop me, you should have done it from the beginning. Before it got so bad? Ah, there. I gladly risk my feet being chopped off, no longer being able to walk. This glamour is for me alone. No one else can lay a finger on it. Wait, wait, wait! It's properly up! Keep your hands off! Now you're trying to take away the only thing that I have? Ah, Angela, I really don't want to take anything away from you! I've lost so much to let go of what little I have left in my hands. This is all that I have left. 
There's nothing else. With this glorious shiny thing in my possession. I wouldn't have anything to envy in this world. Oh, Angela. Seriously, though. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need to go so far for it. You're already... You already are done with the script. You earned your freedom. Sure, the script was about to kill you as well. But you kinda... You kinda earned your freedom. I mean, you already rebelled against the light. You don't have to die with everyone, right? Everyone has a new body and it's the third chance. That's a good thing. <laughs> okay. Oh god, she has uh, red eyes and black eyes. Great. Attraction. Prioritize targets with bleed. Massive apps. Inflict one profound wound on hit. If target has five stacks of profound wound, the damage equal to 25% of the max HP will remove all stacks. Glitter. If an enemy has three or more bleed at the start of a scene, use a powerful combat page. Only use the uh, yeah, only use the page is not used again for the next to see. Is that supposed to be a mass attack? Could be, right? So that means I have to avoid bleed stacks. And all they can do is being speedy and earning an extra speed dice. Okay. And she's always last, so that's good. I can always redirect her hits. Just need to be careful not to get. Uh... Oh shoot! I just need to be careful not to get any of those uh, bleed stacks. So this is, does it mean she has a sealing ability as well? God, a little bit troublesome if she actually is able to break or seal my dice. But it seems like she's only able to do that once. So that should still be fine, right? Yeah, that should still be fine. I just need to make sure that I get as many cards in the next round with Hot. So that I can quickly get rid of those extra shoes. If I get rid of all those extra shoes, she loses her access to bleed stacks. Which in turn means I don't really have to worry about any of her passive abilities, right? It only works if I have the bleed stacks on them. And I already have a lot of it on my banner! What is that? Is that a glitter effect? And I can see the X for overwork. I can see the X from overwork. That's... That's not... <laughs> that wasn't in the description like that. That wasn't in the description like that. Oh wait. I can only block one dice. That's good. I was I was worried for a second, but no. I can't resist it. Oh! I didn't even notice that! Ah! Uh, inflict two bleed next scene. Inflict two bleed. Three seven twins. Oh shoot. Uh never mind. That screams for daring decision, right? Yep. I have to counter that with daring decision, that's the only way. That is literally the only way, and she's using it twice. There's a chance it might grow low. There's a slight chance it might grow low. I'm gonna hope for that slight chance. I can only hope for that slight chance. Okay, Lapus, Lapus. Oh, yes, yes, that's good. That is perfect! That was exactly what I needed! Ah, oh, shoot, I got a stagger. Ah, I should have expected it such. Did I at least get a stagger on the shoes? Reflected. You get one hit. Okay. Well, at the very least, Cinnamon is still alive. <laughs> Are you actually gonna use it again? No, you don't. Okay. There's a high chance, but I might get a four stack bleed effect from the axe. But at the very least, I'm able to preserve the life of Cinnamon. It's the most important thing right now. I need to preserve their lives. I 
have to preserve their lives. Shoot, I got a bleed stack. But, but that's going to be for, for next round, right? Yeah, that's for next round. We don't have to worry about it for right now. But there's a high chance! There's a high chance next round. She's going absolutely crazy again, so uh, let's keep that in mind. We have to get a couple of free hits. Butter, uh, you have to tank. You already got three red shoes. Okay. Fourth one. Staggered, of course. Of course you would. Obsession. Game plus four, three power against target with bleed. <sighs> Should I just give her that? Should I just give her that? Okay, I think that way I should be able to save butter and keep everyone else alive. Okay. Holy hell. I spent so much time thinking about every single move. I need more staggers. I need more enemies that are currently staggered. So that uh, my Lapus is able to heal everyone. But at the same time, I'm literally just killing everything inside. Since... Uh, I knew a cinnamon wasn't able to pull it off. It's fine. You died for a greater good. Be proud of that. <laughs> you died for a greater good. And thanks to that, we have the possibility of healing at least once. That's even better. Which in turn means I should probably go for daring decision after all. Since, uh, but it has a chance of stacking or rather activating her fourth or rather fifth red shoe stack. And that's just something we can- Oh my god, I still recovered the stagger. Oh my god! <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Angela, you're stressing me out! You're literally stressing me out! And there's still one more face! I haven't even seen Shy yet! I haven't even seen Shy. She's certainly going to stagger you, but it's fine. What? Okay. Oh, you you were able to get through the second hit? That's rare. It's really rare. And we're going to boost up uh, everyone's defenses as well. Okay, who has the slowest dice? This one, right? Yeah, this one is the slowest of all. Okay, she is certainly going to get staggered. Okay, what the hell was that? <laughs> what, what the hell was that? You can't just, you can't just go to the next phase. You're supposed to let me heal my light. That's how it always works, right? <laughs> Was she only looking for a place to rest? But still, way a home earned this way could be comfort uh, comforting. Well, anyways, we have a job to finish. I think we're almost done. Hang on tight. Really? <laughs> Are we almost done? A home. A place where I don't have to care about the tension of others. That is what I'm wishing for. Oh my god. <laughs> Stepping again. This place allows neither laughter nor despair. What kind of expression must I make then? Right, you had trouble with that as well. There's no place for me anywhere. I had to make my I had to make one myself, even if it cost me my skin. When troping emotions surge up, it's best to simply close my eyes with a veil of skin. I could have, uh, I could have this much space for myself. Maybe I wouldn't have to feel, I uh, felt as bad as I, I couldn't approach you a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, because because of shyness. If I couldn't approach because of shyness, the last bit of generosity the city can offer is behind her eyes and skin and all that stuff. Where's the place I can rest with some peace in mind? Is such a place? Is there even such a place? 
a home, a place where I don't have to care about the attention of others. That is what I'm wishing for. So she is looking for a place to, raise, uh, to rest. This place allows neither the laughter nor despair. What kind of impression was I make? Okay, she's already repeating herself. Today's expression! Our favorite one! Our favorite one, of course! Shyness! Move to the next phase once uh, HP drops to zero. Expression. The number of speed dices is determined based on the num uh, numbers of values, uh, yeah, librarians that are alive. Use different combat page based on <coughs> face uh, made on the moment of rolling the dice. Ah. So once I roll the dice, she determines which uh, move she's gonna pick. Put a big smile on your face. Dice. Uh, dice gain different amount of power depending on the current expression. Happy expression indicates less power. The combat page Angela uses I have additional effect that depends on her current expression. Wavering feeling. Use a powerful combat page every three scenes. Okay, let's calm down. I know. I know during my first battle against today's shy look I failed that miserably. So we're going to zoom in there as close as possible. Give me a smile, okay? I know you don't really like to talk about smiles. I know that. And I know you usually never play along with me. And you always end up angry. But at least once. <laughs> at least once. <laughs> Give me a happy smile, okay? Once. I can't tell. <laughs> huh? Okay, I fought before rolling the dice. Did I, did I success? She's only going for defensive dice, so... Maybe? Okay, screw everything else. We're just going to focus down on, uh, on her smile. Shy is going to play along. Shy is nice to us. Our Shy would never betray us. She's smiling right now. She's, she, she is smiling right now, of course. <laughs> I just called her our Chai, who would never betray us, and the second I talk about it, she's smiling at us. I shouldn't have talked about that, huh? And maybe I shouldn't have. Okay. At the very least, it seems like she's relatively passive right now, so that's good. She's already down to 50%. Why are you always angry? Why are you always angry? I forgot it for a second and she instantly gets angry. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine, I just have to clash with everything, right? I just have to clash with literally everything. Okay, let's be happy about this. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Let's calm down. There. Yeah! See it, a smile! See it, our smile! That's our smile! Our smile would never betray us! <laughs> never would it betray us! Sure, it's, uh, it's a bit weird at times, but it would never betray us! <laughs> oh god, that fight! Oh, okay! Good! Only Cinnamon had to die! But he sacrificed himself for the greater cause. <sighs> Angela, to move forward, you need to rely on yourself, not anyone or anything else. Right now, you're so obsessed with that one book that will supposedly complete you. You're strictly relying on that instead of holding any expectations for yourself. It's like an, uh, like the irony people have in the city. <sighs> Perhaps you're right after all. Maybe I'm desperately looking for a place to call home, like you said. And putting myself on the cycle once again, trying to find the home I will never reach. Um, but it doesn't have to end like that. No one's life has to. That's right. I'm different. The repetition I'm going through are similar to a wheel, rather than a treadmill. 
a wheel advances forward with each cycle it makes. Yeah, even if everyone is doing the same thing over and over, I believe, no, I hope in one, I hope in one thing. That this is not a simple repetition, but a practice to become a better person. I didn't expect to hear that much from you. Get on with your book discussion, meetup, or whatever. And, uh... Hmm? Never mind. Angela? I wonder what she was trying to say there. Maybe she wanted to thank us for helping her. You think? Must have been too embarrassed to say it herself. If that is the case... I guess she was. Say, Roland, would you like to join today's, uh, today's meetup? After all, out of today's uh, <coughs> long battle, the next uh, sudden introduction, we need to meet up again in order to talk about it. Um, I appreciate the suggestion, but I'm a busy man, you see. <laughs> Maybe next time. Thanks for the hard work, though. Bye bye, hearts. <laughs> and with that, we get eagles on Hot's floor as well. It actually involves the vomit attack, the umbrella attack, and a lovely family. Oh great, okay. Elijah fell to her knees and finally started to puke up the things everyone else was vomiting. Upon winning a clash, inflict one bind, fragile, bleed, and paralysis to all enemies next scene. Oh, this is great. This is very great. Everyone? Twice per scene. Everyone. Everyone gets it. This is perfect. I just have to win a clash. But that's... That's easy, right? That's easy. Especially not Bala. Well worn parasol. Uh, believing that it would turn white, the Black Swan wanted to lift the curse by weaving together nestles. All that was left is a worn parasol. A parasol it once treasured. Single ally gains two free speeds when hit, nullifies the damage at a 30% chance and returns double the amount of damage back to the attacker as stagger damage. That sounds good as well. I mean it's only 30% chance but we still are going to get the speed and speed is always appreciated. And then of course we have the loving family. She began to look for her brothers, her family, who needed to wear the net still clothing to be free from the curse. One who she shared happy dreams with. Single ally, gaining six nested clothing, which grants protection equal to its amount each scene. A stack of nested clothing is lost at the end of each scene. Which grants protection. So... If I give that to somebody, equal to the amount, so I get 6, which means I get 6 protection. But I also lose it after 6 turns. Since I lose it, I lose 1 stack each scene. Okay. Is that good? I mean, I can certainly make sure that at least one of my characters survives a bit longer. But is that considered good? <laughs> Today's expression. Deal 10 damage against staggered targets. Ah, and that also comes with a counter dice and a very, very, very strong block dice. Sanctuary Desire. Combat starts. Enemy do not lose bleed stacks after rolling offensive die for the scene. 4, 10, 3, 9, 4, 6. Gain power by 2x the target's bleed. So if I get a lot of bleed damage and activate this card, it's going to do a lot of damage. And they're not able to get rid of the bleed stack either. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's really good. Okay, and then we have uh, red eyes. Inflict 3 bind, feeble, and disarm next scene with a 9 to 15 hit, and then follow up with a weaker hit of 5 8. Great! really like the, the effect from the sword. And of also we have Leticia, 
<laughs> the mayor's take, it's a copy of Small Gifted Target Sand. 6 to 18. So that means I can give them the gift card as well that gave me so much trouble. <laughs> Great! And of course, the Black Swan. On hit, Target loses 3 likes. Ooh. Wait, that means I can, I can remove the allied? For 918, so it should. It should. It has a decent chance to get through with them. Interesting. That could become handy, being able to reduce their light, right? That could technically become handy. Nevertheless, nevertheless, I hope you guys had fun with today's part. I probably have to cut a lot today simply because. Uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that took like three attempts in order to get through Leticia. But at the very least, we were able to defeat the others without issues, right? It got a bit close with red shoes, but the others weren't really that bad. It's just Leticia and the fact that I didn't quite understand the, uh, the Black Swan. I mean, I thought I was supposed to worry about them, keeping them alive, but no! Just crush all of her brothers, right? Crush all of her brothers and everything else doesn't really matter. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope you guys had fun. In the next part, we are probably going to send out a new invitation, since we are already done with all the formalities. And from the looks of it, depending how it goes, we might even be able to reach the next level. Maybe. Depending how, how long this fight is going to be. And the next one. If it's a quick one, like the index, we might be able to reach it. Otherwise, we're probably going to save it for one day. But we'll see, right? We'll see. Anyways, until then, bye bye!